Hello and welcome back guys. Um, good morning and it is time for our weekly market review. Uh, now this is for November 19th through December 3rd. Um, that being so this comes out usually on Thursdays. Um, Thursday being Thanksgiving there won't be one for next week. So just a heads up for next week we won't be having a, a, a market review. But let's go ahead and get started with what we got today. Make sure it switches over. And there we go. And look at them yummy um, cranberries. And let's go ahead and start with uh, asparagus. The market is a little firmer with heavier demand for um, the holidays. Supplies should keep up for the next few weeks quality is good the, and then we got avocados the market disparity between large and small sizes is beginning to narrow to more tropical levels harvesting and packing is expected to be strong Tuesday through Friday to compensate for the Mexican Revolution Day holiday closures then green beans and I've been getting a lot of reports that uh, canned green beans are missing from shelves this year um, during this time so that's something to think about guys we may actually be in a um, a good shortage for green beans this year it seems um, let's go ahead and read this florida supplies have yet to ramp up and are in demand exceeds supply more supply expected to start midweek limited supplies out of mexico and california desert demand exceeds supply um, we are with our blueberries blackberry blueberries and raspberries supplies are better as raspberries and blackberries as Mexico continues to ramp up production blueberries remain challenged as port congestion and um, offloading continues to be an issue for some and we have our strawberries uh, is under alert again um, Strawberries are extremely limited in supply. The market is active and quality is very poor. Um, fruit is small, not colored up, and of fair quality with limited shelf life. Um, that's everything right now is limited shelf life unless you, unless you live right by the farms and stuff. Uh, Mexico is trying to ramp up but with still not enough to meet demand and that's that's all over broccoli and cauliflower it looks like broccoli is on our list our alert list um, the market is expected to be unstable for the next three or four weeks both commodity and value added florets packs are impacting uh, broccoli remains extremely active out of out with very limited supplies cauliflower is active out of mexico with very limited supply and quality challenges california is better volume starting um here we go for celery it looks like the the value added celery that's the, the ones that's been cut and everything and put in a little, nice little uh, baggie and whatnot um, the commodity uh, celery market is more active watch for undersizing and discolorization associated with the felled oxnard crop value added celery sticks diced demand exceeds supply due to capacity constraints 
Um, then we're going to go up here to our top five, which is carrots. Uh, demand continues to outpace supply of school size bulk packs. Um, chili peppers supplies are very short on multiple varieties. Quality is fair to fair at best. And we got corn up here. Corn, garlic, and mushrooms are still up on this thing. Uh, the markets for corn is strong. Supplies are light. White corn is limited. Uh, garlic, Chinese supplies are gaping, putting higher demand on California gar garlic. Uh, and you guys know how I feel about Chinese garlic. Um, mushrooms, uh, labor, freight, and supply challenges are expected to remain into 2022. So, not looking better for our mushrooms. Sorry, I'm so stuffed up right now. Uh, trying to get through it. Uh, and this is our citrus. Uh, Lemons, oranges, and limes. And it looks like the limes are back on that alert list. Uh, lemon market is steady with good volume from California and Arizona. Imports are waning down. Quality is good. Lime production continues to decline as supplies dwindle in Mexico. And the market continues to increase due to labor and low crossing uh, orange supplies are improving and sizing is peaking on 88 count and smaller with 56 count and larger limited uh -huh. then we have cucumbers eastern demand is exceeded supply quality is good mexico is producing moderate volumes with good demand uh, the market is active. And then we have our eggplant, um, which is looking better. Supply is better. Quality is very good. And demand remains strong. California wings uh, with fair quality. Uh, we got our grapes. Green and red. The market is steady, but showing strength and will be increasing over the next coming weeks quality is good overall lettuce iceberg leaf and romaine markets are starting to stabilize as supply is coming out of the desert growing regions but expected to be unsettled through the rest of the month um, Melons, cantaloupes, and honeydews. Uh, cantaloupe supplies are light out of the west as Arizona and California wrap up their season. Mexican volumes will increase as well as imports from Central America into South Florida markets. Our study on cantaloupes, honeydews are lower with increasing volumes from Mexico. Quality is good. Onions. It looks like we have a, a few alerts for our onions. The onion market remains mostly steady out of both Washington and Idaho, with some market pressures on medium sizes expected demand. Or demand is good. Value added onions, peeled, dice, etc. Uh, are in demand exceeded supply due to capacity and raw sizing uh, concerns. New crop shallots yield are challenged and size, sizing is small. Then we have peppers, green, red, and yellow. Eastern green bell peppers supplies are good, demand is strong, and the market is steady to slightly higher bushel red and yellow supplies are short with florida production 10 days out more imported 11 pound red and yellow bells are around <laughs> corcello green 
bells are waiting with red and good production. Mexican uh, fields and hothouse red bells are in good production. Quality is very good. Mexican greens <laughs> are beginning. <laughs> okay. So again, red and yellow are are on the, the limited list there. And the rest looks pretty good from here. Uh, potatoes, uh, the market remains firm on good demand. Quality is good to very good. Uh, squash, yellow, and zucchini. Um, Eastern zucchini and yellow squash supplies are light. And the market is getting better on zucchini, but stronger on yellow. Quality is good. Demand is good. And tomatoes. The market is strengthening on round and Roma tomatoes due to, I'm oh sorry, I have to look around my camera, due to lack of supply out of Florida and Mexico, grape and cherry markets remain stable. And then we have our reality check up here. Um, supply on the left, price on the right. Um, we have our broccoli or green beans and broccoli are up here. Um, like I said before, the green beans are a big issue this year, it seems. Uh, cauliflower or carrots. Um, we have corn up here, garlic, uh, mushrooms, um, peppers, and avocados. And it looks like apples are moving up here, too. So that might be something to look out for. But there you have it, guys. I um, hope everybody has a wonderful Thanksgiving this week. And um, until next time, God bless.